Hey y'all, this is Emily, and uh, today I'm a little under the weather, but we keep on pressing on, correct? And um, today I wanted to talk to you a little bit about being yourself in your home business. Now, when I first started my journey with home business, I guess around in 2005, 2004, 2005, um, I felt a lot of pressure to be a certain way. Uh, for instance, the first uh, business I ever got in was a cosmetic uh, company, and which was really funny because I never actually really wore makeup at the time, except in theater because I was a theater student. Uh, but that was not the kind of makeup you want to be wearing out in public. And uh, there was this great emphasis in dressing a certain way and talking a certain way and being a certain way, that ways that just weren't who I was. And it was very, um, it just felt very weird, like I was acting as I was, yes, I do have a theater and, you know, I do have a major in acting and theater and all that, but it, I, I still want to be real. I mean, even when, you know, on stage, there's still a lot of elements of myself that I bring to a role, but in business, you know, I really wanted to be me. I wanted to feel uh, comfortable in that I was coming from a place that was sincere and honest and true to who I was. Now, um, I actually just watched this really amazing video by Matthew Hussey. Matthew Hussey is this, um, he's this dating expert, um, amazing public speaker, and, and very much into personal development. I mean, he really cares about both men and women, and he really wants to see them, you know, not just reach the type of love life that they want, but just the type of life in general that people want and he was talking about you know being yourself and how some of that some of the time that can be bad advice and I what he said was that you know oftentimes when you just want to be yourself you don't go out and explore other facets of yourself that might have been hidden for a long long time and I totally agree with that but as far as you know business goes um, because I blog I do videos I send out emails like you've been watching these videos and um, you know I always in the past I used to think I had to dress a certain way I kind of like my first business I had to look a certain way and speak a certain way well you see me right now I'm wearing a t-shirt with blow dry hair it's not fixed a goofy little hat that I made myself with no makeup and I'm okay with that because that's me. It doesn't mean it doesn't mean that I don't have any value to give you. And if you're the type of person who loves putting on a business suit and loves doing your hair a certain way and um, talking like you know a, a engineering teacher, then you go you go with that. But if you're someone that likes to be a little bit more casual, you want to feel more like in a in a business meeting you want it to make it feel more like you're hanging out with a friend and uh, you're discussing more you know visionary stuff about the future and how it can affect your life for good and if that's you then you go with that too it's about coming from a place that is completely authentic completely real and completely you and yes there there will always be developing we always need to be you know, working on ourselves more than we do than, than anything else, more than our business, more than, you know, all of the things around us that we may not always have the most amount of control over, but you always have control over yourself and how you treat yourself, how you treat others, and how, whoops, my light went out, um, how you respond to the word world around you and how you uh, live in that space. And if it's casual and friendly like mine, then be casual and friendly. If you want it to be super ultra professional and um, very, um, I don't know, corporate looking, then you go with that too. It's all about, and you can make those rules in your home business. Coming from, I don't know if you ever heard of Matt Walsh. He's a blogger who's recently gotten... Uh, his views to his blog are increasing more and more. Perhaps you've seen some of his controversial posts. Um, Matt is totally unapologetically himself. He wears a funny little hat. He has these big rimmed glasses, and he has tattoos, and he says exactly how he feels and he thinks. And 
Uh, I wouldn't say I'm exactly I had the style of Matt, but I am totally myself. And uh, what I, being who you are and sharing what's in your mind and your heart, you are automatically automatically going to attract others who are just like you. So um, I hope this video helps you. If you could give it a thumbs up and maybe a comment below saying that this really helped you, that would really help me to know that I'm doing a good job. And if you want to work with a group of people, a very diverse group of people, because we all are exactly who we are as God made us, and you really want to thrive in that kind of environment and feel comfortable being you, then stop what you're doing. Click the link below. Get started with us today because our team has expanded and has grown so much in such a short period of time. I really see my personal team being the biggest team inside of our company in the next year. And if you want to ride on those waves by being yourself, then click that link below, honey, and get started today. I'll see you on the team. Take care.